Hey, 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 it's Ryan Oyster here, and I'm back at it with another video. Now, this time, I'll be showing you how to benchmark your graphics card on your computer. Um, it's, it's mainly for your graphics card, but I'm pretty sure it does look at your CPU and all that. So, what you're going to first want to do is go to... So go to the link in the description which takes you to Valley Benchmark and you want to download it, it's free. You don't need the pro version. And you'll get this icon, it's the Valley Benchmark. Double click on it, it opens this. I am closing that origin tab because I don't need it. Now, you select English and you can select preset. Um, I, you can do custom where it's like DirectX 11, quality, medium, high, ultra, 3D, um, anti-aliasing, full screen, resolution, all that. But what I will just do is extreme, or, yeah, extreme. Because if I do extreme, I can see everything that's running. It's running at 16, 1600 by 900, anti-aliasing. So, it's running it pretty well. And then you just click run and it opens up this and it's loading and it will run the benchmark and in the top right of the benchmark you can see the frames per second and what's cool about this benchmark system I'll show it to you here is if you push F4 and then you push it, ag push it again it lets you walk around. So this is me walking around. You m walk around with WASD. E is to jump, and then you use the arrow keys to look around. So like if I push down on the arrow key, I look down. Up is up. See, so jump. So I can basically benchmark my own computer, and then if you hold shift, they walk. Um which is pretty cool so right now at extreme settings it's running at uh, 30 frames per second so I, you just push F4 again and it goes back to the normal benchmarking so you can sit here and look it says frames per second 28 shows your graphics card shows the megahertz or millihertz um, of the graphics card of the memory and it shows the temperature of our graphics card, which right now is about 53, 54 Celsius. And here in the top left, you can see benchmark, camera, settings, and it shows you the settings. Close, quality, ultra, and then if you push quit, and then you click OK, cancel. So like if I put it on low. So I put the settings on low because I don't have that great of a computer. It's a 750 Ti, but it still works for what I need. It's a pretty good graphics card lowering. And now look at it. It's running so much smoother at 50 frames per second. And if I hop in here and look at the sky, I'm getting 100 frames per second. And if I, like, this will probably be something that stresses out the graphics card is jumping and, like, spinning around the camera. And I'm still getting good frame rates then push f4 let it run so i'm still getting a solid above 35 frames per second solid 40 frames per second um so if i want to see high settings so you can just go between these it's really cool and it's pretty simple it's a free software that lets you do this and at high settings 26 frames it looks pretty good though i mean you're running something like a 960, 970, Titan X, 1080, you'll be getting really good frame rates, really good display off of your graphics card. So it all depends on your graphics card, you know. Investing in a lower end one that was made two or three years ago won't be as good as a newer one. That's just kind of common sense, but you don't always need to invest in the greatest and best GPUs out there because for what I do which is just basic gaming yes I do edit videos and upload videos but you don't really need that great of a graphics card for the kind of editing I do I have um, two videos one's on how I use my editing software 
and another one is on how to record using action, which is what I'm recording now and what I record all my videos on. But that's besides the point. And then the bottom right, you can see the controls for everything. So this benchmark system is pretty cool, and it runs pretty well. And if I push F4 once, it kind of like floats you over instead of you're not like really on the ground. So you can see like I'm floating kind of up in the sky. And if I push F4 again, I like fall back to ground level. But this is a really great benchmark system. The way I came across it was when I got my 750 Ti, it comes with a disc and I put that disc in my computer to upload all the drivers and things and um, this was one of the things it allowed you to do and um, yeah it's pretty cool. It's just a really cool free way to test your graphics card and see how it's performing and I'm sure there's also, something very similar to this to test CPU performance, which I might try to find one of those softwares, learn it, and make a video on that. But for now, I will... Oh, and I'll just show you. So if you click sound, that just toggles sound on and off. Environment, time, I can make it... Nighttime. I can make it early morning. Clouds, like if I make it bright, make a lot of clouds, make rain, make winds. So now this is maximizing my graphics card. Now I'm getting 58 Celsius, which is pretty hot. And if I go to nighttime, it 20, and then if I go here, it makes it harder because it's daytime. And so now we'll let it benchmark through like this and it's getting higher because it's the so yeah if you want to quit you just click quit okay then it rolls the credits you just push, uh, press escape and it takes you back to this main page but uh, yeah i will be leaving this video here please like subscribe and have a great day